This is three reasons why you should stay your ass in tech still. Hey VFC fam, it's your boy Joshua Tech Dev Walker, your Fenty Fried Chicken author and Global Cloud Slinger. I actually have the book in my hand today, so that's cool. Today we're gonna talk about why you should stay your ass in technology. Regardless of the layoffs, regardless of the propaganda of AI, this is still the best place to be. Number one, if it's your dream, you need to just go after it. And this doesn't go for the people that just did the, you know, let's do tech thing to do a money grab. We didn't want you guys in, in tech anyway. <laughs> and if I'm being honest, if you can just do stuff for money, you kind of scare me. And to be honest, if you're just going to do stuff for money, I think there's a lot easier things to do than most tech roles. But I digress. But just like any other dream, if it's really your dream and you have that inkling and that burning desire to be in the technology field for one reason or another, don't let some dude in a Patagonia little vest tell you that you should miss out on the bag and that you should miss out on your dream because they're, they're unhappy with what happened to them. If it's really your dream, don't let anyone stop you and all the propaganda stop you from pursuing it. Number two is there's still a lot of jobs. Regardless of what people are saying, there are still a huge deficit for tech roles. It's maybe not as inflated as it used to be. Mid-level companies like mid-sized companies, which are still usually pretty big companies, startups, there's still a lot of great stuff happening. And even at the enterprise level, I'm seeing a lot of stuff pick back up. So uh, stay encouraged because there's a there's still a lot of job growth and there's still a lot of opportunity. And reason number three, the tech industry still pays more than most industries. And when you compare like lifestyle and flexibility, autonomy, all that stuff, it's usually still one of the best fields you can be a part of, especially if you're back to rule number one of you like doing this type of work. And this isn't coming from a place of me trying to sell you a course or anything. I do have this book, Venti Fried Chicken, but we're not even worried about that right now. We're worried about you. Uh, to give a personal example, the niches that are, they're almost like a layered cake that have kept me employed. So I'm a part of life sciences and healthcare, which is an industry that is booming and will never go away because unfortunately us as humans, we will always get sick. And I, I want to be part of the back end solution that helps people get better. And that's philosophical, but life sciences is an amazing field that will have longevity forever. The second niche I'm a part of is I'm a part of IT and cloud computing, which are IT by itself is always in high demand, but cloud computing even more so because it is the future and the now of IT. The third niche that I layered on recently was artificial intelligence. So, and with all these three niches combined, we are captain employed, AKA captain keep my job. So I say all that to say, keep your in tech, stay encouraged, if you're grinding out, if you're doing certifications, you're getting that real world experience through your demos and stuff in your project portfolio, then keep going, stay encouraged. And if you're interested in, you know, beefing up your cloud portfolio, I've made a few videos on that for the different cloud providers, but a big focus on AWS with me being an AWS community builder. Train, inspire, relate, 